All right, this is Robert with Cruise Bike, and today we are installing a rear rack on the new Q45. This is a standard rear rack. Everything comes in pieces. As you can see here, we have a left side and a right side and a top. We're going to simply bolt these things together until we have our rack assembled all ready to go on the bike looking just like this right here. So once we have everything ready we're going to have at our hand a four millimeter allen and our two installation bolts. First thing we need to do is, is we need to remove the top shock quick release bolt. I'm going to set that right there. Now our rack is going to install at the base right through that quick release skewer. So we're going to line it up to the outside and we're going to put this skewer right through the rack and then through the frame and then through the shock. We're going to thread that all the way through. Once everything's nice and lined up, that skewer will go through. Then we can put the nut back on the other side. And then we can tighten down this, this lever. Now if your seat clamp is mounted in the reverse position, mount it underneath like that. And now we're going to take our 4 millimeter Allen and we're going to loosen our struts. Now note the struts are long from the factory. You shouldn't have to cut them, but you certainly can if you want to cut them to a custom length once your install is complete. But we're going to loosen the bolts on the sides and also the top. So that's going to allow us to move our struts in and out and side to side. Now we have our two 5 millimeter Allen bolts and these struts attached right to the threaded holes on the side of the seat post itself. So we're going to install both struts on the side of the seat post. This bolts right in like that. And you can see them right there on the side. Now using our four millimeter Allen, we can tighten these down. And also you can see we can level our rack just by tilting it up and down from the rear. And if the rack is going to contact your seat post, then that simply means that you just need to insert more seat post into the frame and then use the second bracket down on the seat. So here we have plenty of clearance at the top. So you can see there we have plenty of clearance at the top of the rack. We have clearance here. If our seat post was extended further, we might have some contact there, so we just simply have to insert it if we do. With two mounting positions on the seat back, then you will still be able to maintain your seat angle. I'm even still in the uppermost seat position here, and we still have some good room. And here we can see if we need to relocate this seat post, we can simply loosen it. And if we insert it just a little bit more into the frame, realign it with the lower holes. Or even the upper holes. Then you can gain plenty of clearance for that rack. Inserting 
more tube into the frame for that seat tube is also a good way to adjust your seat angle by small amounts. But once we have that, we can simply make sure our rack is nice and level. And then we can tighten down the struts on the top and the sides. If your rack is not completely centered, just give it a little tweak. And those upper struts will provide that tension to make sure the rack is centered. Once everything is centered to your liking and level to your liking, then we can tighten down all these fasteners. We want to make sure these are nice and tight so when we put a load on the top of the rack it stays put. Alright, all our bolts are nice and tight and secure, nice and snug. We can put a rack bag or pannier bags on this rack and go for a ride. And there you go, your rear rack is installed, ready to haul your gear. As always, thank you for watching and if you have any questions, please contact us at support at cruisebike.com.